Hello everyone. For the last part on League 1, the three southern teams that are that I have remaining, and I'm really looking forward to looking at all of these teams. It's uh, Montpellier, Nice, and Nîmes. Um, if you're waiting to see the Paris Saint Germain uh, Jordan jerseys, uh, those I will cover for the Champions League, so they are not yet here. And yeah, I have not been much to Southern France, so uh, you don't see any Southern teams on the back here, but still props to my daughter uh, who helped me actually arrange this back here. And I think it looks really, really nice. So thank you for that and let's get right to it. We have three teams, but actually quite some shirts to look at. We'll start with Montpellier, who were the last team not called Paris Saint-Germain to be French champions. It was kind of a surprise. Championship. And I have to say, I always liked, in a way, the Montpellier jerseys because they married the blue with the orange, which is always a great color combo combination. But this one, Nike dropped the ball here. This design I've seen for a few other teams. I absolutely hate it. And I have not seen the back here. And probably I should have looked up some match footage. I assume the back is completely different than, than, than the front. I could could even be that the back is orange, so it has this Jekyll and Hyde quality. Since I don't see it, I will not um, do much here. But what I don't understand is this is looks black and orange, which is a combination I don't like, although it's probably a navy blue. If this was at least in a brighter blue, like as we see on the crest, I think they could be onto something, but really do not like this shirt. And then shooting on there are a lot of sponsors. You have a sponsor in the middle, you have one up here, you have one up here, and then you have the main sponsor, and you have a sleeve sponsor. It's just too much. I understand that Montpellier is a small team, but this is just too much. I'm sorry. This is two-star jersey. Cannot go higher higher than that. Uh, I really would love to give them more, but this is just a horrible design. And yeah, the away jersey doesn't do much better. At least it's a little bit lighter. Um, because there's more white and less dark in there. But then the sponsors are all full color. So uh, I'm sorry, Montpellier. I really would love to give you a higher rating, but I just cannot. Also two stars here. And I'm also afraid that what I look here, if the sides are uh, orange, I expect that the back is also orange. Again, check out high quality. Um, yeah, two stars. And I'm super, 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 super lenient here. Well, let's move a little bit further east. I would have loved to go uh, geographically, but yeah, I'm stuck here with the alphabet. Let's move further east to Nice and the Nice home jersey. That's a beauty. Macron, you delivered again. Why do I like it? Of course, you know, meanwhile, AC Milan is my favorite team. This looks like a perfect AC Milan jersey. If uh, Macron had taken over instead of Puma, and they would have delivered this jersey, I would be dancing in the streets. Uh, I like the Puma jersey, if you saw my Serie A preview, but this one is even better uh, because it does not have anything on the shoulders. It just uses the old-fashioned stripes exactly how I like it. I even like the white collar, how it connects also with the sleeve trims here. Uh, this is really, really, really nice. Uh, you have to just the crest, and of course, it is not sponsorless. Uh, if you look here for match footage from the first home game, there is this hard sponsor, and of course, there's another sponsor over the crest here. So, but yeah, a really nice jersey. I'm going if it was without the sponsor, I probably would even go 10. I'm gonna go nine, but it should be a nine plus, really. Uh, really nice shirt. Now, then, Nice has actually three alternates. Um, I'm starting off with the black one, which with a monochromatic crest. Again, I assume there will be sponsors on there, and I assume they will be in white, so this makes it already a little bit more messy. Uh, for that reason, yeah, it's not bad per se, but it's not exciting as exciting as the home jersey. Um, and for that, I give it only a six. It doesn't really excite me. And the same goes for the red alternate which i hope will have a black sponsor which makes it a little bit better than the black one if it would have a white sponsor if it has a red sponsor they would be about totally equal but i still go with a six here 
And then the most reasonable one, given that Nice has already a pretty dark home jersey, is the white one. And there I don't quite understand two things. First of all, yes, it is all white, gives the classy look, but then why use gold and why do you take out the color from the crest? I mean, on the home jersey, there is the, you have a black border around and I know there's gold, but here uh, it just disappears. You make it too much white in, to my liking. It really is an odd feature. So while this is the best of the alternates, it's still not great, but I would give it a seven. Um, even if there would be now more sponsors on there, I still would expect them to be rather unicolored. And then the last one has also three shirts, which is Neem. And they are uh, equipped by Puma. And these are actually really, really, really nice overall. Uh, let's start with the home jersey, which is the red one here in the center. And look at how the this dragon on the crest is put on the shirt on the bottom. I absolutely love this. I think that it's a plain shirt. It reminds me a little bit of Dijon. Um, you have the Puma Cat on the center. Then you have, of course, a sponsor here. And you have the Neem crest here and then the main sponsor. Uh, but it still gives kind of off this clean look. Really like that one. I'm gonna give this nine stars. I do the same, I think, almost for the away jersey. Uh, I like how the red comes down here on the left, and you still have the shadow uh, dragon on the side. Yeah, I also love it. Uh, this reminds me of, uh, I think, in 2012, Puma had had a similar style with coming down here, but I think the angle was uh, different, it was kind of from a strikeout. I might be wrong here. Really like this one. It's also a nine. The black one is maybe a little bit the um, slight letdown, similar like for Guingamp, where they just went for gray and black with a little bit white. Uh, if they would have splashed in a little bit red here, especially for the dragon here, this would have been even better. So I'm gonna go only eight here, but Nim, you're surprising me with really, really, really great kits. Now, if you would manage to play in the arena, the Roman arena, this would be perfect. But of course, the, the size of the pitch there is way, way too small. Uh, one of my favorites, I think I've never been to Nîmes, but I know that Metallica and Rammstein uh, both filmed concerts there. And I love the opening for the Metallica, Francais pour une nuit. If you haven't seen that, you can probably find it on YouTube. Uh, the opening is just amazing for the old Roman amphitheater, how they go in and then how the band marches in. Uh, yeah, I hope that the team from Nîmes plays a similar great style. Well, there you have it. All League Air kits we have covered in four installments. Maybe I was a little bit too ambitious with the first uh, two. I should have maybe chopped them into three and now. Uh, yeah, but we have four total. I'll be back soon with more from Serie A, where I don't have all the kit yet, but enough to make more videos. And I'm looking Premier League. There are a few missing that I wanna get soon, but you know, it's mostly third kits that have been just released and it's just too little. I'm waiting, especially for Manchester City. Uh, similar goes actually in Serie A. I'm waiting still for Roma and also for La Liga. The Bundesliga, I think I've covered almost all of it. I have to check again, but I think Bundesliga is pretty much complete. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, in the next week, I'm hoping to get this done. And then once we have the Champions League draw, I'm going to look at all the Champions League jerseys and of course for the Europa League games. So. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more of these. I'm publishing now, trying to publish every day at 8.30 p.m. Central European time, a new video, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time...